Councillor Kergiannis. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I'm, um, I've been hearing a lot of conversations back and forth. I hear from my colleague, Corey Perks, that this is a bad decision. This is a terrible decision. And I hear from my other colleagues, this is a good decision. And I cannot but help but think that we are probably the most wealthiest country in the world, the most affluent country in the world, and yet our subway kilometers is less than probably the poorer cities, the poorer countries in the world. We have less than Athens by three or four kilometers, and that country is virtually bankrupt. I will speak about my home country. And yet in this country, we keep talking about the subway, and we keep talking about the subway, and we've been telling the people of Scarborough, we know better. You're a bunch of, well, I don't think my constituents are a bunch of idiots, and I don't think they're stupid. And I think they make wise decisions. And when my constituents overwhelmingly tell me in the last election, as well as in the federal previous elections, we want a Scarborough, and what will you do about it? And I come down here and I hear, this is a bad decision. I'm going to myself, hold on. These people can't be stupid. These people are not ignorant. These people are not children of a lesser God. These are not second-class citizens. They deserve just as much as anybody else does. Well, you've got a subway in your ward, uh, Councillor Perks, and a lot of you got subways in your ward. North of 401, we got a subway that stops right at Don Mills. And I got my colleague, Shelly Carroll, that says we should not extend that across. We should not extend it along Shepherd. We should put an LRT. And then I got people that say we should not get the subway in Scarborough. We should put an LRT. I'm, you might be OK with it, but my constituents are not. Hey, and councillor, my, councillor, give me, please be. I'm speaking, Madam Speaker. I'm, I'm voicing the voices of my constituents. But don't yell at Councillor Carroll. I'm not yelling at Councillor Shelley Carroll. She knows Thank I'm you, not Madam yelling Speaker. at her. Thank but you, when Madam my Speaker. constituents hear that we in this place say to them, yo, you're second of, I mean, Scarborough, one third of the land mass, one quarter of the population, you don't know what you're doing. We know what we're doing downtown here. We're going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put the relief line from Pape to come down to Union Station, and that's going to cost us three billion bucks. Oh, in Scarborough, you can't have a subway. Bad, bad Scarborough. Bad, 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 bad dog in Scarborough. Madam Speaker, now I have a point of privilege. Okay, we have a we have a point of privilege Madam now. Speaker. Yes, Councillor Carroll. Madam Speaker, now I do have a point of privilege because, first of all, I do not represent downtown, and secondly, the Shepherd LRT and or subway, whatever it might be, runs right through the middle of my ward. I have been engaged in a great deal of process with my residents, so to characterize me as being from downtown and not knowing how people feel is not appreciated. I, I don't think that's a point of personal privilege, Councillor Thank you, Carroll. Madam Speaker, because okay, I said because we here. in plural. I didn't say the councillor specifically herself. If she feels that way, well, you know, I, I, I can't help it, but I said we in plural. And I'm talking about the plural we, the 45 of us. The people here that are trying to tell Scarborough, you are stupid, you don't know what you're doing. Well, I don't think Scarborough is stupid. I don't think the quarter of the population that lives out in Scarborough, one third of the Toronto landmass, people have decided. Nine out of the 10 councillors have come here and said, we want a subway. And for the rest of people to say, you don't deserve one, that's doing an injustice to the people of Scarborough. That's doing an injustice to one third of our, one quarter of our population, one third of the landmass. Stop doing an injustice. Stop treating the people of Scarborough as second class citizens. Stop saying to the people of Scarborough, you're stupid, you don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Their counselors know what they're doing. Nine out of 10 spoken in one voice. So I want to thank the counselors for putting the debate forward. Let's get it over with. Let's support Scarborough. Because if you don't support Scarborough, when you want to talk about relief lines, we will remember. And our constituents will give us marching orders, and they will tell us to remember. 
This is not Scarborough against North York. This is not Scarborough against downtown. This is the city of Toronto. So stop pitting us against the corner. Stop telling us what we can and we cannot do, and stop telling our constituents what they should be thinking and what they should be telling their councillors. Yeah. When you got councillors out of one particular area coming here as one voice and saying we need this, we want this, the rest of you should respect that. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you.